Hey everyone, welcome. I am going to do my completed pages video for January 2021. Um, I'm pretty happy with this collection. It's a little bit random. I didn't stick to any one topic or one book very well. Um, I am going to do it a couple days early. I would like to get a jump start on February. I will be having surgery the 10th of February, so it's kind of going to knock out about a week or so of my month so I'd like to kind of get a head start and get a couple pages done so I have something to show for February. So um, I did accomplish 18 pages this month. It's not a whole lot but I'm very happy with the ones I did. I felt like I took my time and did really well. So let's go ahead and get started. This first one is Walter's Whimsical Worlds. And this is a freebie he sends out in his newsletter. I just printed it out on cardstock and cut it out and then washi taped it. Um, it just felt like a cute little postcard type page to me. It's alcohol markers with a pastel background. And then, yeah, he turned out pretty cute. So he will go in the folder with the rest of that artwork. This is Mystical Art Mirrors, and this is the first page I have colored of hers. Um, I'm just kind of starting to learn about her. I did jump on her Etsy sale and grab a book and a couple PDFs, so we will be seeing more of this in the future, but this is what I did. Um, again, printed it out, cut it out, washi tape border, pencil balloons, alcohol marker for the girl. Um, I stuck the stickers on there and then these are just metallic markers I dotted to make look like confetti. So I think she turned out really well. She's really cute. Pretty proud of that one. Next one is Sasha Cook. Um, this was for an event in a coloring group. This is just an easy peasy coloring alcohol marker. Used a little bit of chalk marker on the trees. Nothing fancy. So he is pretty cute. This one is um, not exactly a completed page, but I did work on it and I was pretty proud of how it turned out, so I decided to add it to my collection. This is Distressed Inks, the Tim Holtz ones, and this is the bubble technique. I did a video on it if you're interested in seeing how to do it, but I wanted to check it out and see how well when it dried it would make the actual bubbles in the background look, and I think I'm pretty pleased with it, so I think... Um, depending on how I feel in February and how it goes, I might try a C picture with this bubble technique and see how it goes. So that was fun. As you can see, if you do get it wet, it, the ink does bleed through a little bit. So I picked a page in the beginning I wasn't too worried about. So that is Mermaids. Next was a review book I got, and it is a little late for Christmas. Um... These bookmarks are for me. Um, so this is Kalila Black. She does a lot of these kawaii books. She's just getting started. So I believe this is her third book out. She has a snack time, a Halloween, and now Christmas. And I believe she has a kawaii kitty one coming out in the next week or so. So I did a flip on this book, but I also got one colored. Just a cute little simple snowman. Some um, These are pastel dots I just did with a stencil for snowflakes and I'm really I really like that one it was quick it was easy no big just fun coloring so that is that one from her I do think I need to get that one posted so these little bookmarks with the numbers I started my year off with a challenge to myself to color in a hundred untouched books I have counted books that have came in as happy mail because I figure Either way, if I don't color in them, they're going to go on the bookshelf and be added to the list anyway. So if I colored in them as they came in, then I went ahead and marked them. So this is my third book, I untouched book I worked in this month. A Year in Flowers. I just got this book a couple days ago, and I'm pretty excited for the adventure in this book. At first, I wasn't so sure, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it. We're going to work in it, we're going to learn to not hate flowers, and... I'm off to a great start so far. I'm hoping to keep the momentum up and stay with it, but we'll see. There is a flip on my channel if you would like, but I started, so I skipped these first couple pages. Started with January. 
very proud of this one. I love how the aged paper comes out. I love my flowers. I love my lettering. It's perfect. I love it. I am I am a January baby as well as my daughter. So, of course, I had to jump in and get this one done. And then I did the second page that goes with it. This one is alcohol marker. Uh, my marker started dying a little toward the center, so I decided just to kind of scumble it and make it have more of a sky feature. Not sure how well it worked out, but I do love my colors. These flowers are um, a Crayola signature and then some Prisma over top. The rest is alcohol marker. So next stop will be February. So I'm pretty excited for this book. It will stay out and hopefully we will get some more done in it. This is Rachel Mintz Women Art. This is a grayscale coloring book. I do not do a lot of grayscale, but it was fun to try some things in this book. I will admit that um, there were a couple pages I started in this book that did not go so well and I had, had to abandon ship. Um, but it's a fun learning curve and it's a great book to practice in. So this is, let's see, this was just a practice with eyeshadow. I'm not exactly thrilled with it, but I think if I go back and add some more colors, she will come to life. This is the second one I did. So I'm not sure why I picked the colors I did. That's just I felt the colors she should be. So she is all pastels except for a little bit of pencil and some pen around the eyes. So that was fun. Um, I did this girl, but I went with a black background and got her hair and ruined her, so she's a no-go. Working on her. Cheeks need a little work. She's got a, she should be. And then this one, and this one is my favorite. She turned out great. I love her skin. I love her nails. I didn't actually touch the camera because I liked the look of it as is. So I left the camera alone, but I did do the birds and the hair and the background is pastels. These are markers, markers, skin markers. So that was fun. So this women art if you are into grayscale. Finally, 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 I know a lot of you have seen this work in progress on my Instagram and then I kind of bailed for on it for a little bit. I got a little frustrated, but we are back and we are finished. So I did Snow White and I did take it out of my book because I am going to redo it. Um, but this is my Snow White. This is for Disney Birthday Bash 2021 for Kate's Coloring Haven. I will take this sticky note off. I just wanted to make sure I remembered to put that. That is her. She is Prisma chalk markers. This is Prisma's. And I really love it. So if you look at the book before and after I worked on it, hopefully, ah, the light is going to you can see I added lines to the trees, I added a little bit to this walkway right here, I added the mold, the mold, <laughs> the moss to the rocks, um, the flowers I kind of added all along here, they weren't already there. So it was fun kind of making it my own and worrying less about it coming out looking like the one in the book and just worrying about what I like. So if you are intimidated of this book, that would be my suggestion is to just, you can use the book for highlights and, you know, kind of color ideas and whatever, but to make it your own, just go with it. So I am pretty proud of that one. That is my fifth book. I believe I made it to eight or nine, nine, made it to nine uncolored books this month. Color my sketchbook two, Bennett Klein. So this is another kind of grayscale book. Very beautiful images. I jumped in and did the bears. So um, the black background is a little wonky, but I kind of wanted you know, like a border, but I didn't want a perfect black border. I kind of wanted it to feel. Um, so he is castle art pencils, castle art trees, and a pastel background. And then I did the birds with a Sharpie. Nope, 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 not that one. Thought I had one here to show you. 
Oh, nope, it's not a Sharpie. It's a Pilot Precise V5RT, and I love this pen. This is my go-to fine lining black pen. So that is how he turned out. Pretty proud of that one also. I love my bears. I love how he especially turned out. This one I wish would have kind of showed a little different from his mom, but that's okay. He's safer. He blends in. So that is my... Those are my bears from Bennett Klein. Gnome Life. Now you will notice all my tabs. I am on a mission to complete this book sometime this year. I am getting closer month by month. And I look forward to doing a full flip. So I have to find my tab here. Uh, January 2nd. So I did this one. Um, I love the colors I chose for this one. I went out of my comfort zone of doing a blue sky, went with some colors I know I like together, and I'm really proud of how that turned out. The washi tape grew on me over time, so it just felt kind of plain. So. And I did another one, I did this castle one, and it was very cute. This was trying out my Spectrum Noir markers, or no, 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 Scenic Form markers, sorry. <laughs> And I did not do a border on this one. I'm still deciding. I still might. Just to cover up some of the spots where I went out of the lines. But yes, these are scenic form markers. And they do go through. And you can see a little bit where the marker still bled out of my windows. The yellow. So be careful of that. But other than that, I really like it. And I am on a mission to get some more done. Gnome Life Coloring Book Cafe. This book was a gift. Let me take out some of my blotter sheets here. I have a bunch of them. Um, from Jamie at Jamie's Coloring Love. I believe this was my birthday. Yes, birthday gift. And I was very excited. I'd been eyeing this book for a while. So I am so glad she finally grabbed it for me so I didn't have to sit and decide whether I wanted to anymore or not. And I'm kicking my butt for not grabbing it sooner because it is a great book. So this is my ice page, alcohol markers, gelatos for the water, prismas for the ice and gel pen. I'm pretty proud of it. And the snowflakes are just little stickers I got at Dollar Tree that felt like they needed to be put on this page. And she doesn't fit all the way. But yeah, pretty proud of that one. Thinking back now, I kind of wish I would have did this a little different so that you could see the moon through her wings, but that came after. So. And then this kite one. And she is all castle art pencils. And I'm also very proud of her. She came out really well. I liked adding my extra details to the grass, the flowers, putting some love into that water. I have very faint clouds in the background. I'm not sure if they're showing up. But. So that is my kite girl. I did start one more in here. This is chalk marker, but it doesn't hurt the other side. So. Um, but I'm not in love with it, so I kind of bailed. But I do plan to go back and try to finish it. It just has kind of a silly um, color scheme. But we will see. We will try to go back and finish that one. That was Whimsical World by Molly Harrison. Next one, I finally got one done in my favorite, favorite book. So excited. And I will leave this book out and try to get another one done in February. Really hoping I won't be missing too much of February. I'm kind of bummed out. I mean, I've, I'm excited. I've waited for this surgery forever. But I'm also bummed out because I feel like February is a big month and I'm going to miss a whole bunch. So this is Paradise by Fabiana Antanasio. This is Castle Art Pencils. So I got the pencils and I wanted to try them out. Uh, I glittered my sunflowers. I left the lines that were already put in white. So um, this page was a little hard to decipher at first. I loved the space background. This to me was a dock. So what I did was make the flowers coming out of kind of the water, looking out at space. And I think it turned out really well. I like the flowers. I don't know what jumped out at me that said they needed glitter middles, but they did. 
there is that one and I will show you the back side the paint doesn't hurt it it's not really that warped so. two more my favorite two of the month this one is Wild Soul by Grazia Salvo and I swore this was gonna be a pencil book I wanted to do it in pencil but then I decided I wanted to try out alcohol markers because this is really great paper. So this is my butterfly page and I am thrilled. Her skin came out great. Her eyes, well, they're not bad. <laughs> I like her gray hair. I touched it up with pencils after doing alcohol marker. Um, this is pastel background. But and then I kind of just made a note to myself what I used. Her skin was Arctic Tones, this, this, and this. Her hair was so, just so later on in the book or anything. If I am curious, then I also, if you haven't watched my other video, um, did a swatch in the back. So I like this idea because sometimes markers come out different colors on different papers or they get a weird texture. So I took a few of my favorite skin tones out of the Arctic set and just kind of swatched them in the back of this book. And then as I'm going through and I'm thinking, oh, uh, maybe I need a pinker, I can look and see what my pink skin tones are. So that helps me out a bunch. That is Butterfly from Grazia Salvo's Wild Soul. Um, that book was available on Amazon, but I'm not sure if it still is. It tends to go pretty quick. And then this, this was my big project for January 2021. I threw a lot of media at this page. This page took me pretty much all month. I started right at the beginning and I just barely finished it a week or so ago. Um, this is my first page colored in a Kirby Rosance. Completely colored in this Mythomorphia. Anyways. Sorry, got a little one watching me. And so, as you can see, I did my snow in pencil. I did my mountains and trees with chalk marker, and then I glittered them. So I'm not sure they're showing up. There's the glitter. Um, so I really love this page. I'm really proud of it. My book did fall apart, <laughs> so I did have to tape it down. But other than that, um, it turned out great. I made a boo-boo right here. There was supposed to be another little tree. And I ruined it trying to make it look frosty. So it's a snow mountain now. <laughs> but um, I don't think it's that big a deal if I wouldn't have told anyone. No one's really noticed or asked why there's a white blob there. Um, this is Iron Man's hand. And there's a club over here. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. A lot of work there toward the end. I was really starting to wear down and I wasn't sure if I was going to make it, but I did. So that is my snow page from Mythomorphia by Kirby Roseanne. So those are my completed pages for January 2021. I am now starting my February pages. Uh, questions or comments, if you need links to anything, leave it down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And I hope to see you next video. Thanks for watching.